Hey, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. Today we're going to be playing an awesome family tiling game called Cacao, which we're going to be tribe leaders trying to get cacao and selling them at markets and praying at temples and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll click on the link below for my thoughts at the end of this video or the rules and setup breakdown in my other video. Uh, three things before we start, please like, subscribe and comment on my YouTube channel. That would be fantastic. Let's get started. All right, welcome to the playthrough. Let's make this quick. I'm gonna be playing a three player game and there you go, I'll be red. So the way the game works is a tile lane game. You're gonna draw three at the top of your deck. So instead of like Carcassonne style where you always have a choice of one, this one you'll always, you'll always have a choice of three until you get to the end of the game. Uh, just to speed up the game for the other two players, I'll just draw off the top of the deck and try to place it and be as strategic as I can. Um, so these guys, tiles represent your workers, so the side that's connected to any jungle tile will tell you how many times you're going to activate that tile based on the amount of meeples attached. So for example this, I would get two cacao because there's two meeples attached here. So that's basically what the game is trying to represent, right? So by putting a three guy, I'll get three cacao, so on and so on and so on. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, just off the bat. Uh, if I'm not sure what to do, I usually just put a one type guy around a cacao. So I'll get one cacao, right? Because this line is one cacao. It goes on my board. So you have little spots here for your cacao. So you can have at most five and then you have to start selling them because you can't hold anymore. All right, there's also a river thing. I'll talk about it later. Sun discs, again, when they come up, I'll talk about them. Also, whenever there's a spot with two workers uh, next to each other with an open space, that's when we're actually going to fill up the board. And I'll show you that probably on the next turn. Okay, so I did that. I did my move. Redraw. There you go. That was my turn. <laughs> All right. Pretty simple. Uh, let's go to the next player. Again, just to speed up the video, I'm just going to flip over the top tile and show you how this works. Uh, so they drew a 1-2-1. One, one. Um, uh, uh, so you don't really care about the market right now, so I think they're going to do this. Yeah. So they're going to get one cacao and they have two open spots later for other things. So I'm going to give them one cacao and they're pretty much done. So let's see what purple wants to do. One tile. You got the one meeple everywhere. Fantastic. Um, so I think what they're going to do is, see if he goes right here, he's going to actually have to fill up both spots, which is probably not a bad idea. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to put it there. So he's going to fill up both spots. And he's got to put both. So which one does he want to put where? Let him just go like this. Okay. So he's going to get two cacao and get one point from the general supply because that's what the mine does. You get straight up points. Nothing interesting going on there. Uh, so that was purple. So he's going to get two cacao. Now everyone else around those tiles still get to activate it. So red, I'm going to get another cacao. So it's going to be a second one. And Yellow is actually going to get two points because they have two meeples in the mine. They're ahead, but that was kind of a waste of a double worker. You'd rather use it for other things. Okay, that was purple's turn. See, pretty simple. We just did a whole turn. Uh, I get to refill the display. And here we go. Okay, so... Um, there's still no markets that I want to sell to you sort of want to wait till there's the three or the four market to sell your cacao So you get more bang for your buck. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try to get the actually this is a market Oh, that's not a bad idea. So I can go get stuff and then sell it on the same turn uh, So that's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go here Just to show you this is done. So that's gonna give me a cacao You can do it in any order, but I'm gonna just do it that way and then I'm gonna place this tile right here so now what that tile says, it's a market, so for every cacao you sell, you're going to make three bucks. And I can sell two cacao because this tile is going to give me one sell, and this tile is going to give me one sell. So I'm going to get to sell two cacao, and that's going to be for six bucks. Boom. So I'm going to draw at the end of my turn. There you go. So now we're going to go yellow. I get to refill this. Ooh, yellow got there three and one. Um... I think they're eyeing this tile. So what they're going to do is they're going to see if they can place it in a way that they can activate this three times to get six points. Um, 
So I think what they're gonna do, let's see if there's a way for them to activate it three times without letting any of us activate it. Uh, they can do this and actually activate it four times. Sure, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna go right here. He's gonna place this tile right over here. So he's gonna go straight for a lot of points. So he's actually gonna sell his cacao as well. Actually, you know what? He's gonna keep on. To it. He's gonna keep it. No point in selling it for two. Maybe he'll sell it for three later on. There's a lot of those market tiles in the deck. Uh, so he's gonna get this one, two, three, four times. So he's actually gonna score this eight points. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom! That's for yellow. There you go. So now it's gonna be purple's turn. Purple's got his two and one. Um, and what he's gonna do, what he's gonna do is actually go like this. And the reason he's doing that is because now he's gonna get four points from here. So I'll just keep, take a five, back a one. And he's gonna put the temple over here. So the temples only score at the end of the game. You know, whoever has the most meeples around is going to score the higher number, then the second place is going to score the, little, the sm smaller number. And he's winning one to zero. Everyone else has zero meeples and he's winning. So right now he's ahead right over here. All right, so it's going to be my turn. Ooh, a sun disc. So those are pretty cool. I'll teach you that during the end of the game because those only come into play when your deck is empty, right? So in about six rounds, I'll show you what they mean. Um, so I want to get a few of those for sure. So I think I'm going to use my two To get a Sun disc I Could go next to the temple as well So I can sort of do something like this and get one Sun disc and sort of win that temple uh, Oops um, I could get three Sun discs Yeah, so I have a better idea. I think what I'm going to do is do this Actually, I'm gonna do this. Actually, it won't make a difference. <laughs> Whether I do it here or here, it doesn't make a difference. So I'm gonna do this and add the sun disk here. Just like that. So what that gives me is I'm gonna get three sun disks. So each of these are worth a point at the end of the game if you don't use them, but I'll probably end up using them. And they're gonna go right here. And I'm gonna have a sell at the market. So I'm gonna sell this cacao for three, right? Cause that's a three value market there you go let me fill this so as you can see the game just flows really fast it's really smooth so we're gonna go to the next tile and yellow has a double and i think what yellow is gonna do is go right over uh, They don't mind either going here or here. It doesn't really make a difference for them. Um, so I think what they're going to do is go right over here. So they're going to get two sun disks and a cacao. We're going to go to purple. Let's see what they get. Oh, they get the one everywhere. Um, pum, 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 pa -dum, pum, pum. I uh, think what they're gonna do is they have a ton of cacao so they want to sell it so I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna come here and they got to fill up both spots actually so uh, what they're gonna do is sell here and so you don't get to refill you refill at the after you place so if you have to fill up two spots you have to play both tiles all right, and basically they're gonna make a cacao with red over here. But then they get to sell two and they're both for three. So this one sells for three and this one sells for three. So they're gonna sell two. So they're gonna make six points. And I'm just gonna give them a 10 and put back four, two, three, four. So they're way in a lead right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was, Wrong player, let me just fix the points, I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that. I was giving the cacao to yellow when it was purple's move. I fixed the points and the cacao value, so we're good. So now it's going to be my turn. I'm supposed to have three tokens in my hand, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, nothing great. Uh, let's look here. I don't. Maybe I'm going to go for a temple. I don't really need sun discs anymore. I'm kind of full, uh, so I want to stay away from those sun discs. Um, so I think I am going to try to get a temple. So maybe I'll point a three to it somewhere. So let me see. Or maybe a two. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, where can I go? Where can I go? So you know what I think I'm going to do? Here, this will be probably more strategic. I'm going to put this tile here. So I have two meeples around this temple, so I'm winning this temple. And I'm going to put this temple right over here. Because now I'm winning this temple because I'm winning one to nothing. I might not win both, but at least I'm leading in both right now. Then we flip over the next tile. There you go. Yellow's turn. So what do they got? They got one, 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 one. Uh, what do they want to do? Uh, they got two... Uh, tough choice. I think what they're going to do is come down here and get three points. So I'll put back a five. No, I'll put back a two, take a five. And they're going to have to put a tile here. And... I think what they're going to do is put a sun disc, so they're going to get one and purple's going to get their first. Boom, just like that. We're going to do purple. Purple, purple. Uh, so now purple... Hmm. Purple's going to want to steal that temple away from me. That's uh, certainty. Uh, so they can either do this, tie me, win. So I think they're going to want to win, so they're going to do this. But then they're going to have to put two more pieces here. Um, that's fine for them. I think they're going to win this temple, which is good. So that's going to be six points for them at the end of the game. They're going to have to fill out both these tiles. And I think that what they're going to do is put the temple on this side. So that they're the only person on this side. And put the market on this side. So. Red's going to have to... Could sell for three. I'm going to definitely sell for three. One, two, three... And purple gets to sell for three, so I'm just gonna sell that for three. Uh, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any change, so I'm gonna take the three. I'm gonna have to. Let me see if I can bring down the board a little bit. I'll bring it back in a couple of seconds. And now they're winning in that section there. All right, let's keep going. I moved the board down a little. And look at that, a bunch of cacao tiles came out, which is actually really good. I don't mind getting the double cacao. Uh, maybe using my two so I can get to four cacao and then go to a market to sell them. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is actually do this. Alright, by putting a tile there, I'm going to put the double cacao right over here. And basically I'm going to make four cacao. So it's two times two is four. But then I'm going to sell two of them to the market. So I'm going to sell two of my four for six points. That's pretty good. All right, fill my hand. So there's only one, two, three, five turns left. Uh, we'll go to yellow's turn. Let's see, yellow, yellow, yellow. What does yellow want to do? Yellow doesn't want to get stuck without any... Uh, what does yellow want to do? Yellow can go here to gain control of this temple here. Or he can also do it on this side, but he's not really interested in this marketplace unless he points... Well, uh, Sure, he's going to do this. Place it right here. He's going to play this right here. So that's just going to give him one cacao. And he's pretty much gained this control of this temple for now unless purple puts another piece here. Looks like all the cacao pieces are coming now. So now it's going to be purple's turn. Oops. So let's see what purple... Oh, he's got the three. 
So the three, that can be pretty good. You can straight up win a temple straight up and not care about anything else. So I think that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna have the strategy of winning all the temples. So he already gained this one for sure. He's gonna, go, well, I'm not gonna say for sure because we could use our sun discs to overwrite the one of our tiles out there, but I'll save that for later. But for right now, he's gonna put his tile right over here and he's gonna have to fill up right here. And I think what he's gonna do is put the uh, the double so that nobody gains anything. <laughs> uh, sure, let him do that. Uh, so flip over one more. Ooh, the first water space is out. So these are good. You sort of always want to get at least one to not get negative 10 points at the end of the game because if that happens, you pretty much lost, all right? Uh, so that was Purple's turn. He doesn't have to place another tile, so we're good. So I'm gonna look at my tiles. And I think I'm going to use my three for sure on the water. Um, so I need to place my guy in a way that'll generate me water. So I can do something like this or like this to generate four water. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to place the water tile right over here. I'm going to have to end up moving their board around. but. Uh, what this is going to do is I get to move my water four times. So I have one, two, three, four meeples around this water. So I'm going to move it four times. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So just like that, I netted 12 points because I went from negative 10 to two points. And I get to sell a cacao for three. Might as well. I'm going to sell my cacao. Make three points. But I'm going to actually toss in two. Let's take a five. There's a five. There's a five. And there you go. That's my turn. Now we're gonna go to yellow. Um, forgot to refill. I think yellow is definitely gonna to want to get next to that water as well. So I think they're gonna go two. And over here, I think they're gonna put the market so that they can sell their goods. So they're gonna move their water piece two times. One, two. And they're gonna sell a cacao for three. So they're gonna get rid of a cacao. Uh, get rid of a five and a one and a two to get a ten. So I'm gonna move their boards a little bit so we can expand here. So now we're gonna see what purple wants to do. Ooh, the three and uh, and another water. So they don't even have to go around this one. They can go anywhere they like. Uh, so what do they want to do? I think what they're going to do is go right over here, which is probably a better move for them. So they're going to put their water here and essentially they're going to gain two cacao and three water spaces. And there you go. So we're all off the negative 10, which is good. <laughs> we're all going to be in the running to win. Okay, let's refill. And now it's my turn. Ooh, I would love to sell to the, this is the biggest market in the game, unless you're playing with an expansion, so the four. So I'd love to sell, but the problem is I don't have a lot of cacao. Now, is there a way for me to generate a lot of cacao and sell? I mean, I could do something like this, which I think is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna put the four here. And now what I get to do is I get two times this, so that's four cacao. So I'm gonna fill up my stock and then I get to sell two of them. So I get to sell one here and one here. So I'm gonna lose two and that's gonna net me seven points. Five, six, seven. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the game. So now that I have three tiles left, I can start using my sun discs and I'll show you how that works next round. Okay, so now yellow is gonna go. They're going to have one of each. Um, let's see, what do they want to do? Uh, they have two cacao. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They don't care about sun this. They can go for water again. They don't mind. That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, but they do need to sell their cacao eventually. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that what they're gonna do, no, they don't wanna go here either. Okay, you know what? Let me be more strategic for them. Here, let them 
Let me pretend I, he had this one in his hand. Because <laughs> he doesn't need the sun disc, so I'd rather place it here. So he's going to go here to solidify his first place here. And then this is going to open up here. And I think what he's going to do is play his cacao. So he's going to gain three cacao and pretty much this. So that's going to be yellow's turn. Now it's going to be purple's turn. Let's see what he got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, double and one, one, one. So what do they want to do? Uh, so they're already gaining this. They can pretty much solidify their advantage here. Let me flip over the next tile. Uh, they do want to sell their cacao for four. So I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to come up here. And I move the board down again afterwards. But they're going to put it right here. So they're going to fill in here. I think what they're going to do is put the cacao. So they're going to gain a cacao but sell two of them. So they're going to gain one. But sell two. And that's going to net them eight because that's a, a market of four. So I'm going to give back a two and take a ten. Boom. There you go. Alright, so I moved the board down a little so you can see it a bit better. Um, so these are the three tiles I have left. Um, so I got a one of each type. type. So I got the three one, the one, two, one, and the one of everything. So this is where I'm going to show you how to use your sun discs. So you can only use them once your deck is empty, so when you're down to three. And what you can do is you can waste one to overlay on top of your a previously laid tile you already did. Alright, so just to give you an idea i think what i want to do is um something like that so i can do this yeah i'm gonna do this um sure i'm gonna do this boom all right, now what that lets me do is I get to activate all the tiles all around. So I'm going to get one water for here. I'm going to get to sell two of my cacao for six dollars. So I'll get rid of two cacao. I'll make six bucks. Okay. And I get two more cacao because that's what's pointing there. That's it. So now we're going to go to yellow. He's got his three tiles left. Uh, he's also going to use a disc to overlay you always sort of want to do that and i think he's going to focus in on these temples here well although he has a ton of cacao uh but the problem is not next to this market not next to this market and he's not next to he got screwed he's not next to any of the good markets maybe you should have thought of that during the game um so you know what he's going to do instead actually instead of using this because they're worth a point at the end of the game i think he's going to do this boom all right and then he's gonna add a tile here and i think what he's gonna do is add the point to chase here so he's gonna activate this three times so he's gonna get to sell three cacao for four points each so that's gonna be 12 points for three cacao which is really a good haul and then he's also gonna gain one point from this mine there you go oh another temple uh then purple's gonna go uh they only have one sun disc so they're gonna wait to use it i think um they need a way to get cacao and maybe they can place this temple as well so i think what they're gonna do is let's see let's see let's see he needs a way to put a temple out so he's got to be next to two places at once uh, what does he really want? Is there any double cacao? This won't let him put an, a tile out though. Uh, unless he puts it here, then he can place it here. Sure, that's what he'll do. So I think what he's going to do is something like... Oh man. Sure, he's going to do this. Oh no, but that... Ah! There's no way for him to get cacao and place a uh, tile that I can see um, all right he's gonna do this sure he's gonna do this so he's gonna get four cacao but he's get he's gonna get to sell one of them for three gold 
So we'll give back a five and take back two. Now we're gonna go to my turn. So I got two tiles left. All right, zoomed out a little more so you can see more of what's going on. Uh, so I got two tiles left and uh, uh, so I think what I wanna do is raise my water to the end. So what I'm gonna do is put my three here. So that's gonna raise me three. One, two, three. And it's going to allow me to put a tile here, and I might as well put a temple. Even if yellow beats me, I'll still get three points for this. There you go. All right, there you go. So let's do yellow. Uh, a one on each side. Uh, uh, where can they go? I mean, they can go here and sort of get more. Although they're still losing this, and they're going to just tie for this. So that's not great. Um, they're winning this one automatically. I mean, he could go here. Oh, I forgot to flip the next tile over. Oh, it's another temple. So I think what he's going to do, he's going to go here. So now he's winning this section against me. And he's going to place another tile here, and I think he's going to place the other temple. So now he's winning 1-0. to zero. <laughs> There you go. There you go, two tiles left, and the water, and a market. So purple's next. So we're almost done. After this, we'll have one tile each for everyone. So what does uh, what does purple want to do? Purple needs to sell his cacao. He's got four. Unfortunately, he wants to sell in this region here, but that's not going to be great. Now uh, let him look at his other tile. <laughs> He's got a two. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where can he go to cause a problem? Uh, oof, I should have thought of this before. I think what he's gonna do, maybe he'll do this. Yeah, that's a pretty good move. So he can go to the temple and he can have a spot there. Um, so that's gonna allow him to sell two cacao for six points. There you go. All right, down to me, my last move of the game. So I don't want water. I wouldn't mind selling some cacao, I got three left and cacao isn't worth anything at the end of the game. So I think my two, I want to point to a, uh, a, a market. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could do this and try to steal the temple. Uh, I'm winning this, I'm second here anyway. Maybe I'll do this to sell here twice. Or maybe I'll do this. Where are the markets? <laughs> I could do this. That'll let me sell two cacao and I'll get two more <laughs> that I don't need. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. There's nowhere that I can really put this <laughs> that I really want. Uh, I can't even go around here. I could try to steal the... That'll be three on three. And I'll get to, to sell cacao here and a cacao here. Or I can go straight for this section right here. Try to take over this temple because I'll be winning. And then I can put a sell on both sides. Actually, it'll be a water. Um, sure, what I'm gonna do is probably this will give me the most points, I think. This will be six, seven points. I don't think any other place will give me more than, hey, you know what, let me do this. I'm gonna go here. Now I have to put both tiles. I'm gonna put one here and one here. There you go, that's probably better. And my water can't go up anymore, but uh, I'm going to have two here and I'm going to sell one cacao here for two points. There you go. All right, so yellow's last tile. They got a one on each side. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Not great. Uh, what do they want to do? They have two cacao. They can overlay on top if they wanted. Um, is there any way for them to steal a temple from someone? No. This is three, they're winning here. They're gonna lose here no matter what. 
Uh, temple, temple, temple. That temple there, they already have one. They can sort of tie me if they put it here. Um, but they're going to lose this one anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Uh... Nothing great, <laughs> to be fair, nothing great. Um, I mean, they can go on top of here to score three points plus another two, which isn't bad, actually. Might be the best option they have. Can't really see any other option that's worthwhile. Um, all right, let me just do this quick. I think what they're going to do is go... Was it here? Yeah, they're gonna go here. Get rid of one of their tokens. So they're gonna get two points. They're gonna sell a cacao for two points. That's four points in total. So put back a five. Take back a one. All right, finally the last tile before we go to end game scoring. So purple. Uh, who wants to do what? He's got two cacao left. Uh, I mean. Let me just see if there's a way for him to get next to a market. See, you can go here. Well, he's already winning that. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Um, he doesn't want to overlay this because then it's going to break his winning there. So I think what he's going to do is just overlay on top of here. What he's going to do is he's going to get a ton of cacao, which doesn't really matter. He's going to raise his water by one. Then he's going to sell one of his cacao for four. So technically he would have four left. So he's going to get four points for that. So I'll give him a five. Back of one. And we're done. Let's go to scoring. All right, I already scored for the other guys. Let's just score for Red here, which is who I was playing with. So uh, my base points would be 36 plus I have 16. So that'd be 46 plus six. It would be 52. Uh, 53, 54. Alright. And then looking at the temples, 54 plus 6. So I'm going to have 60. And here is 1 point. So 61. Here it's 3 points. 64. And here it's 0. So I got 64. I already calculated for the other guys. He had 53. Sorry, he had 53. And he had 41. So I sort of destroyed both players. But... Uh, that's basically how you score so you're gonna take your points that you got during the game you're gonna add your river you're gonna add your tokens you're gonna check the temples and you're done whoever has the most is gonna win the game all right my final thoughts coming through all right let's go to thoughts uh, so what do i think of this game that's uh, one of my favorite tiling games honestly it's uh so let's talk about game length it's for its time, it's only 30 minutes long or even less. If you know what you're doing, you can pop this out in 20, 25 minutes with three players. Uh, what more can you ask for? You can play this multiple times in a row. It's great. Uh, Component-wise, it's just a ton of cardboard. Everything's super clear, though. Uh, the colors they chose are really good. The red, the purple. I believe the other color is a white, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, but, yeah. They pop on the on the field here, so you can't really get confused. Also, the force tiles really clear. You know exactly what they mean. There's only six different type of tiles, so it's easy to understand. So complexity is really low. Uh, this is probably the lowest complexity game I'll have on my channel for a while. Uh, it's only eight plus, so really really easy to understand. So maybe that's a con for some people. It's a bit too simple, but I would say get one or two of the expansions, pop them in, and it adds complexity and it makes it shine. So even just the base game maybe i would not have hold, held on to it but because the expansions are so good i this one's definitely a keeper all right uh, let's talk about player count a little bit i really like it on all player counts uh with depending on the player count you'll play with more or less tiles but it doesn't really affect the game whether you have, you play one or two extra rounds it doesn't really change what you're doing or make it better or worse it just works really well whether you're playing two three or four players okay um what else i already talked about game length the components uh there's no ap in the game there's limited amount of strategy because you are uh it's just a very basic tile lane game uh some cons sometimes you could get hosed by the tiles that are there 
when it's your turn especially in a four player game in a two player game you never have a problem because there's two tiles and even if the other guy goes you can always place next to him or place the tile yourself but in a four player game it could be that by the time it hits your turn again that the tile and all the spaces around it will get covered up so uh there's a bit more strategy in a two and three player game than a four player game but it still works really well um what I'm going to say though, there is a ton of interaction. You're constantly fighting for those temples and fighting for areas around the water and the sun tiles and everything. So it's great. Um, so overall, I won't drag this out. It's a really, really enjoyable family weight tile laying game. Honestly, way better than Carcassonne. I've sold off my Carcassonne ages ago because of this game. Um, I find it much more satisfying to play this than Carcassonne. Carcassonne, just the one tile play that one tile, get another tile, play that tile. You're always at the whim of what that tile is going to be. And it's so frustrating Carcassonne when you're not getting the tiles you need and you're just spinning your wheels, getting road after road after road after road after road. You want to strangle somebody and you can just lose because of the tile that draw that you have, right? So this one, it's, you never have that problem. You're drawing three off the top of your deck. The chances that the three are exactly the same. And honestly, there's only like a one worker difference on all the tiles. So it's not really going to affect your game that much. What's going to affect your game is the order in which the uh, jungle tiles come out and who gets to place them where and where you're placing them is a lot more strategy and a lot more satisfying than Carcassonne. So definitely play this over Carcassonne. This game fired Carcassonne for me ages ago. All right, so on six, let me just get through it fast, fast. Uh, give it a four without the expansion with the expansion well you're just gonna have to go see that video it's gonna be a lot higher score all right so there you go those are my thoughts um yeah so click the link below for the other expansion stuff if not we'll see you in the next one later